some fantastic shows. Um, they can't all win, unfortunately. Is there any any people or shows there that you would particularly like to see take an award? Uh, I, I, without wanting to 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 be too biased or curry favour too much, I, I mean, I think. Um, sort of shows like um, Prey, I thought were wonderful. I would love to see that do well. Marvelous, I'd love to see do well. Um, I haven't seen The Missing. I hear it's excellent. And then, of course, one has to remember that there are shows that are nominated because the general public watch them again and again because they are so adored and they are so good. So Sherlock, whilst it's won many a gong, I would never be uh, upset to see it win another. We hear you're a big fan of Sarah Lancashire and Happy Valley as well this year. Massive fan of Sarah and her work. She's Again, an actress who I've had dealings with over many years. Even when I was at drama school, she was she was around auditioning, you know, on the audition panels, and she's been so supportive of me ever since I've been, you know, a whippersnapper. And so then to see her, especially in that amazing sequence in the first episode of Happy Valley, where she's just sitting listening in a cafe, and that she just breaks down, and um, uh, I thought it was a beautiful piece of acting. Again, another deserving winner. I hope this year. Now, are there any shows, maybe guilty pleasures, that might not be on the BAFTA list, but you've really enjoyed this year? Um, I have to confess, some of my guilty pleasures are uh, things like, um, are on the old box sets. But I'm, I say I'm not too much of a binger. I get very guilty about binging. But um, things like True Detective, I just sat on my sofa, curled up. Uh, in a corner, and uh, just and just ate through it, you know. And so I'm very glad to see that it's an amazing piece of telly. Now you're going to be um, attending the BAFTA after party. One assumes. Um, can you tell us? <laughs> can you tell us? Um, in previous years, have there been any kind of funny stories? People having a few too many. I mean, it must be a great laugh hanging around with all that talent. Are you kidding? Show business. That's what it is. We live for after parties. I, I think. Um, I think uh, it's yeah. Of course, there'll be funny stories. I hope there'll be funny stories, which I'm involved in this year um, we'll see um, I've, I, 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 I can be quite a quite a loose cannon after I've had a couple of glasses so hopefully I'm not going to get splashed all over the papers but have a good time nevertheless you've had a fantastic year with um, banana and cucumber and obviously the riot club as well two such different roles um, how do you find people reacting towards you in those in those two projects well, it, it, visceral hatred, actually, from, from, from more or less both. I mean, Freddie Baxter in Cucumber is not, um, he's not an altogether lovable man, but he's hopefully an understandable and damaged creature and one that uh, he's the best part I've ever played. I'd say that very openly and honestly. Um, so I think um, I've been very lucky, quite simply, to play a broad variety of roles, something I want to continue doing all my life and all my career. So if this is a, you know, a litmus test of what's to come, then I, I'm I'm very lucky indeed. Yeah, and you got to uh, destroy a few restaurants in the <laughs> Riot Club. Yeah. Was that good fun? It, of course, yeah, and destroying it with my best mates as well. You know, I've known Max since I was seven. Doug's my best friend, and you know, latterly all those boys have become best friends, and we all you know go and you know raise hell together. So it's um yeah, you can imagine ripping off wallpaper. When do you actually ever get to do that unless you're a builder? <laughs> um, so yeah, it was wonderful.